Hello students and welcome to chapter 5. This is the last video in our book, A Young Artist's Guide to Visual Perception. In this lesson, our learning objective. We will now tie it all together and we combine everything we've learned about shapes, colors, moods, and perspective and apply the fundamentals to Gestalt principles, which breaks down into principle of proximity, principle of similarity, principle of continuity, principle of closure, principle of figure ground, principle of pragmans, and last but not least, principle of common fate. So let's get started. Long ago, three smarties from Germany, Max, Wolfgang, and Kurt began decoding how our brains see the big picture, not just tiny pieces. Gestalt! Sounds fancy, right? It's German for shape. And it tells us that the whole story in art is way cooler than just its parts. Let's play a game. Got a bunch of colorful stickers? Notice how, if you put them close on a page, they suddenly feel like one big team? That's the magic of the principle of proximity. It says, hey! The things that are close to each other? They're bodies! Meanwhile, principle of similarity makes things pop. Imagine the night sky, tons of stars which your eyes tend to group since they look alike. But nothing looks similar to the moon which makes it pop among the similarities. Our next lesson starts by following the path of the principle of continuity. You can make eyes wander around your art as they adore following lines that are smooth, twisty, and full of surprises. Now we are on to the principle of closure. Take a look at this almost circle. Something's missing, right? But wait! What does your brain see? Even with a piece gone, our super brains fill in the blanks. We can't help but see a full circle, that's the principle of closure which is all about our brain's magic wand, filling gaps and completing the story. To make something focus, use the figure ground principle. Imagine you're in a room with no lights. Everything's pitch black, suddenly a wild smiley face appears. See how it grabs your attention. The principle of figure ground helps your audience discover what's the main act and what's the backdrop. By applying negative space, you are using the principle of pragmans. Or principle of simplicity, simpler helps absorb visual information better and it's easier on eyes. Lastly, is our principle of common fate, whether it's birds, or even a bunch of friends, when they all move or point together, our brains cheer them on as one team. That's how you use the principle of common fate in action for a storytelling dynamic with movement that pulls our eyes into the thrill of the scene. That's the end of all our mini lessons. If you forgot about a concept or need a brush up on an art subject, feel free to watch them all again. Don't forget to smash that like button, share if you've learned something new, and hit subscribe for more.